For those not satisfied with either the Republican or Democratic candidate for president, there is an alternative. A former Republican governor who could end up on the ballot in all 50 states, Gary Johnson, is a libertarian, popular two-term former governor of New Mexico who received over a million votes when he ran in 2012. And he joins me now. Governor, give me the platform in less than 60 seconds. Platform of a libertarian. Um with a broad brushstroke, fiscally conservative, socially liberal, government's too big, it spends too much, it taxes too much, it takes away my individual freedom and liberty. Individual freedom and liberty. Look, the ability of individuals to make their own choices that only they should be making. And then with regard to our military interventions, um, I think they have unintended, I ha think they have the unintended consequence of making things worse, not better. And that isn't I, to say that if we're attacked, we're going to attack back. I was surprised to see that, according to Monmouth University poll, you're already in double digits. We can put that up from just a month ago, and it shows Gary Johnson in comparison to Hillary and the Donald. You're at 11 percent. It occurs to me, Governor, that if you were to win just a couple of states, you could throw this into the House of Representatives. What would happen then? Michael, I wouldn't be doing this if there weren't the opportunity to win, but you've really hit on the crux of all this, and that's just being in the polls. Uh, that poll that was taken by Monmouth was a month ago. My name hasn't appeared in a national poll since. Um, I think there's a legitimacy to having my name in the poll in that I'm, I hope to be the Libertarian nominee. Libertarian nominee is going to be on the ballot in all 50 states. That's a claim that no other third party will be able to make. I think uh, Hillary and uh, Donald are the two most polarizing figures in American politics today. Um, when 50 percent of people in this country right now are declaring themselves as independent, well, where's that representation? I happen to think that most people in this country are libertarian. It's just that they don't know it. Let me ask you the Ross Perot question. From whom are you pulling more? Might you be a spoiler? Might you pull from Trump and end up benefiting Hillary? Uh, yes. Well, actually, uh, the other, it's the other way around. In the Monmouth poll, uh, more, more votes were taken away from Hillary than Trump. But statistically, at the end of the day, third parties take from both sides. And like I say, forget about Democrats and Republicans. The majority of Americans right now consider themselves uh, independent. Where's that representation? At the end of the day, if I'm not in the polls, uh, I'm certainly not going to be able to be in the presidential debates. Uh, it's a real chicken and egg thing. I got to get in the polls, Michael. Well, Please. look, if you're if you're at a, if Whatever you're at 11, you if you're if you're that. at 11 percent, you got to get to 15. That's the threshold. I'd love to see a third voice on that stage to make the left and the right defend against the middle. So thanks for being here. I appreciate your time. You're. Yeah, thank you. And the uh, key again is being in the polls. Being in the polls right now. Thanks, Governor. Um, I'll be at twenty percent if I if, if people will just Google Gary Johnson. Google Gary Johnson. Thank you, Michael.